Hey everybody, Max with A1 Website Pro, and today is going to be a programming tutorial on PHP and jQuery. Okay, JavaScript. So anyway, uh, this is going to be about these maps. So when people uh, enter their mileage, oh, phone's going off like crazy. Okay, let me turn that down. What we're going to do is we've got to get their latitude and longitude's coordinates. And we can do that with JavaScript. I use jQuery, which is pretty much the same thing. And then we put that into hidden form fields up here. And I'm going to show you guys how to do this. But this is what you're going to be learning. Whenever they go to places and they click on mileage and see all miles, whenever you click on location, it's going to tell them exactly where their uh, vehicle was whenever they recorded their mileage. So that's going to be uh, very helpful for them. Then that way, and also this is not Google Maps. This is a uh, an open streets. Uh, it, it's an API, but it's a free API. So you don't have to have like a, uh, um, you know, a, a subscription that you pay for or anything like that. So we kind of like to do things free around here and we want cool stuff. And this is very cool. I use it in a lot, a lot of my applications. And today I'm going to show you guys how to do it. So whenever they go to click scan their miles, like we were talking when they're enter or enter their mileage, then what we want to do is we want to record their geo coordinates. All right. And now these fields are hidden, but you can actually uh, see them if you right click and view the source, but I'm just going to show you the code. Okay. Now here is the script. It's called miles.php and I'll have this uh, script for download at a one website pro. So, you know, you guys, it has all the session variables for those of you that are trying to craft your own home inventory to run on your local computer. I totally understand, but right here from the uh, input, Type, you notice I have an input type of hidden in this form field and the ID is geo and the value here is empty at first because this gets loaded when they load the browser. The same is true of their IP address. I grab their IP address when they load the browser. Okay. So let's go ahead and look at the way, see how this works for this form input field. If we scroll to the bottom of this, because you always want jQuery on the bottom, here's how I'm getting their IP address. You know, I use this get JSON and I use this API from ipify.org, you know, and that's how I get their IP address. And this goes out and gets it and puts the IP into the form field. The next thing that I do is I get their location. Okay. And I use uh, jQuery to do that or JavaScript here. And uh, what I do is I set a bar of location info and then I grab their latitude coordinates and their longitude coordinates and I put them in that variable code location underscore info loc info and I grab that value I target the geo and then I put it into that form field okay this is how I'm getting it and then I'm actually taking it and this uh, uh re getting it in this uh this second form that in this form that I have after that inserts it then I grab it and whenever they enter their miles, okay, I get to record their, uh, their location. Okay. Now the, the one caveat is, uh, they're going to get a pop-up whether to allow their location or not. And if they want to track their location, they can agree. If they don't agree, you won't be able to get their geolocation for their vehicle. And that's just something that, you know, if they don't give it, then the maps won't work. All right. So once they hit submit, then it'll record their geolocation in the database. The next thing that you want to do is whenever you go to places, we go to mileage here, click see all miles. And this right here, whenever they click on that, I'm going to show you that their, their, their begin miles and end miles are all recorded. It's in descending order. And so let's go to miles all. Let me bring that over here and I'm going to show you how this is working. So this is, this is basically that page. Okay. So what's going on here? <clears throat> well, I'm querying the database for that particular user and I'm grabbing all his information, her or her information. And then I'm, I have a table. This is a table row. This is a table cell. And if we go down here, you can see I used to have it so the people would just go to Google Maps and they could see their location that way. Um, entertaining, I'm entertaining the idea of having both, but let me just show you what it was like. Let me go ahead and save that. We'll move this out of the way. 
and we'll use Google to get the location. If I hit refresh, you click on this, you notice it brings up Google Maps and a new window and they, they get to see their location. All right. So there's benefits to that too. If they want to get directions to that, you know, they'll be able to do that. That's why I'm going to probably end up having both, you know, use Google or just uh, this maps. But for the sake of uh, our demonstration here, I'm going to comment out the Google search and have it just go to the A1 sold. And notice here, I'm getting the geo coordinates from the database. Okay, and if you come up here, let's see the geos here somewhere, right here. I have a field called geo in the database, in the miles database. And I'm grabbing that, and that has my latitude and longitude. The next thing I'm doing is I'm getting the name of the vehicle. Okay, and I'm putting that in the query parameter. All right, so these are query parameters. One is P, one is V. Okay, P is for position, V is for vehicle name. All right, and then I link that in an anchor link called location. I close my anchor link out and then close out my cell. And that indeed is what gives you this. So let me go ahead and refresh this page. And if I click on location, it, it takes me right to where that last entry was was made. So what are you going to need to make this happen? Well, notice this query parameter up here, milesmap.php question mark position, and then I have the geo coordinates and then and V, which stands for vehicle, equals big red. Because that's what I call my truck, big red. All right, it's an old truck and uh, just does a great job. Now, here we go with uh, the miles map. So let me go ahead and click on this miles map. Now you notice here I'm including the header and the menu. And this is my PHP error log. Uh, when I don't need it anymore, I could just comment it out. But that lets me know if there's going to be any PHP errors. Uh, I start out with a div class of Jumbotron, which is uh, Bootstrap 3 that I'm using. I could get rid of this test down here. And notice here, here's how I get my P parameter, which is my position, which is my geo coordinates. All right. The next thing I do is I get the V parameter, which is for my vehicle. And this right here, username, is a function that I have in my functions file where I could get the user's name by their ID which is stored in the header, okay? And I, I store that as the person's name. The next thing that I do is I create a variable called message and I'm using the person's name and the vehicle and then I'm adding was here. And you can see right here, Maximus Bacala, Big Red was here, okay? So that's where he was last time. And then I have a function called show map which has which takes the uh, parameters of geo and message the one message here so geo is the latitude longitude coordinates and then message is that and then i have showing map so what you're going to need is in the functions file here's this show map function okay you're also going to need the leaflet.css and you're going to need the leaflet.js. And I'm going to have them on Way of Website Pro for you to uh, download them. Okay. So you need uh, you need this particular uh, script right here along with the leaflet CSS and leaflet.js. And I'll have them. If you click the, the link in the description of this post, uh, you'll be all set to go. You just put this stuff in there and you're going to be ready to go. Now this geocode, what this does is it takes an address like, uh, you know, 33 Water Street, Ludlow, PA, 16333, and it'll turn it into uh, latitude and longitude. So I'll give you guys that too uh, with the download in the functions file. So, and then you can make something happen uh, just like, just like that where you have your map, you'll be able to zoom out, zoom in, and you can add more things on here. Uh, let me just sh play around with this with you guys for just a minute, just to show you what th this does, my, my miles map. Uh, let me go ahead and save this. And let me go to the functions file. Here you can play with the different zoom, the icon size. So I got 
imagesmarker.png, which I'll which I'll put in the download as well. And maybe you don't want that marker as big, or maybe you want it bigger. So let me go ahead and change that to 50 by 50, which is the height and width of the marker. Let me just go ahead and save that. Let me move this out. And you can see the size of the marker right now. That's the marker. Let me go ahead and hit refresh. Now you see the size of the marker. It just it just made it a little bit bigger. There's other things that you could do. Let me go ahead and put that back because I like 40 by 40. Uh, the title uh, you could call the title something different instead of company name. Um, you could have it draggable, true or false. Like if you did not want to. Uh, draggable you just put false there and we'll save okay so right now let me show you that this marker is indeed draggable okay you can drag it anywhere but now let me refresh it and let me get rid of that and now let me try to drag the marker see I can't drag the marker so that's a little bit that that's that um, oh let's see here there's just there's just so many things that you can do um, but here we have the variable of person's name, and that's just that second parameter that's coming in there. I surrounded them P tags. You could surround it any kind of tag that you want, but you could just play around with this. Uh, if you want to style the style sheet a little bit more, you can. That's that leaflet.css that that I got from who? What was his name? Oh, I don't know who, who that was. Or maybe it was the JS. You'll need this one too. Uh, the JavaScript library, uh, Vladimir Afakun. So he made that for us, and it, it just works out so good. And uh, I thank him for putting his time and effort into that. I sent him a little donation for it. But there you go. Uh, lots of work just getting these maps to work, and then they have the zoom out, zoom in. And you can include a lot of different stuff on here. You know, you can include directions. You can include several different type of locations like if you wanted a map of all the locations for your different dates which i'm going to be doing in the home inventory app uh where you know this date you did this trip this date you did this trip and stuff like that i think it's going to be really cool and very helpful for people whenever they want to go back and look at their history kind of like uh, google maps does with the, the google history but this won't be shared with anybody it'll just be yours all right this is max with AIM website pro i hope you like this tutorial and if you want the scripts, they'll be in the link in the description of this video. So see you next time.